Suppose that you are moving around a circle at a constant speed. So you start somewhere on the circle. You move around the circle at a fixed velocity. And you end still on the circle. The velocity that you are moving at once again will be taken to be fixed. So some unchanging number V. Your motion created an arc on the circle. And as we have seen, arcs are related to angles. We'll now write down two formulas involving velocity. Notice that I've labeled the length of this arc. The length of this arc is the distance traveled. And distance equals rate times a time. So the time we spent moving, we are calling T. So here is one formula for the velocity. V equals S divided by T. Just take both sides of this equality and divide it by t. However, we've seen that this s, this r, and this theta are related. s equals r times theta. So if we want, we can take this formula for velocity and where S appears, we can write R theta. So these are both formulas relating the velocity to various quantities. This form to the relates the velocity, the distance, and the time. This form to the relates the velocity, the radius, the angle, and the time. Depending on which information you're given or what you're trying to solve for, one of these formulas might be more useful than the other.